it's Gabby from What's Gabby Cooking, and today we're making one of my favorite recipes, 4th of July mix. I've made it before for Christmas, and I called it Christmas Crack, but we switched up the color of the m and so it's festive for 4th of July. So here we have all of our cereals and pretzels and chocolate things, and we're just gonna dump everything into a big bowl. First, we're gonna put in some regular Cheerios, some rice checks, corn checks, and wheat checks, and you can mix and match. If you can't find one of them, you can you know, add in an extra of the others. And then some pretzel sticks to give it that nice little salty crunch. And then we're gonna take almost all of these M&Ms, and these are just red, white, and blue, obviously, for 4th of July. Let's reserve about a handful of them and dump the rest in. These we're gonna use at the end. Give everything a mix so it's evenly combined. And then we're gonna take our white chocolate and just pop this in the microwave. We're gonna microwave it for 30 second increments. And then it'll probably take about a minute and a half, two minutes for it to be fully melted. This looks great. So you can see it's perfectly smooth. And we're just going to take this and carefully dump it into the mixture. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite part. And then we're just gonna toss everything together. You want white chocolate covering everything. So really get in there, stir it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. And then once all the cereal is covered, look, that looks pretty good. We are just going to transfer this whole mixture onto like a parchment lined baking sheet. And the parchment paper is just gonna allow it not to stick, so you're not losing anything. And then the reserved M&Ms that we had over there, we're just gonna sprinkle these on top so they have that really nice pop of color. Okay, so then this is gonna sit out for a couple hours. If you need it to go faster, you can pop it in the fridge for half an hour to harden up, and then I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Okay, so a couple hours or 30 minutes later in the fridge later, it's like hard and solid, so you're just gonna take your hands and kind of break it up into bite-sized pieces because this is great to take to a party and like people can eat it as an appetizer, as dessert. I mean, we have to try it, right? Mm. Oh, a big piece. <laughs> mm. Literally, nothing makes me happier. But how easy was that? <laughs>